Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Emily Oves, and today I have another special video for you guys. So, for today's video is going to be a Cruel Life episode, and it's not just any ordinary Cruel episode. This is going to be a video, a story time video to be exact, of me telling the time of how I met Cruella. This story and like this memory of mine in my life is just so near and dear to my heart. I think about it and I'm just still in disbelief that it even happened. Like, oh my god, thinking about it right now just makes me smile so hard. So without further ado, let's get on to the story. This is how it all went down. August 2013. That's when I discovered Cruella. That's when I fell in love with the amazing group of uh, people in Cruella. September was when I made my Twitter account for Cruella because I was tweeting on my personal account about Cruella and people got mad and people made fun of me for it, so you probably don't know who you are, but I know you people exist out there, so you guys made fun of me for my liking Cruella. I have no problem with that. I made the Twitter account and I just met so many people. People that I'm still friends with today, people that I'm still close with today. All these people, all these crew, they were just amazing people that just welcomed me into this family. I felt so like happy in like this little like crew verse on Twitter, I guess you could say. Crew verse, crew and universe. Universe. I don't know if that should be a word. Can that be a word? Let's make it one, guys. So as I was meeting all of these different people from Twitter, I was also seeing that these people were seeing Cruella and meeting Cruella a lot. When I mean a lot, I mean like every couple of months, which is like actually insane. Like they were lucky people. I was so jealous, okay? And I was also seeing that Cruella on their Twitter accounts would tweet at these people and talk to them and they were basically close with them and not many artists and fans have like a really nice close relationship like how Cruella is with their crew but I do want to meet them I am jealous of these people I need to make it happen so luckily for me Cruella was actually starting their get wet tour right when I was beginning to like them and I'm kind of late in the crew because most of the people that like Cruella that I knew back then they liked Cruella way before me, like 2012 even, and I'm just like late on the bandwagon, like whoops. The Get Wet Tour is starting and I wanted to meet them so bad. I looked on the tour dates, there was no tour date, venue, show date near me. The nearest one was like New York and that was what, 21 plus, 18 plus, and guess what? I was 12, turning 13 at the time, what? And there was no way I was going to be able to go to New York. So that was out of the box. So it was official, I wasn't going to see Cruella during the Get Wet Tour. Dreams were crushed. But then, luckily for me, something happened. A miracle happened, okay? Mid-September, September 19th to be exact. Around the time of my birthday, my sister comes home from work and she says, Cruella is playing in Camden. I was in disbelief, I did not believe her. Then she told me like, oh, they're opening for Pretty Lights and uh, he's another DJ. And yeah, they're gonna be opening for him, blah, blah, blah. And I was stoked, okay? So we went online and we saw it was official. <coughs> my God, I just died and we bought tickets straight away. So Camden, New Jersey was the show that I was going to be going to. So basically, November 1st, it was going to be the day that I would see Cruella for the first time my whole entire life and see the people that I look up to and love so much for the first time and oh, feels man. That in mind, I was like, cool, I'm seeing Cruella for the first time, like, I'm gonna see them, like, in real life and watch them perform and it's gonna be literally insane. The next step was to meet them. So I was like, alright, it's either plan A, I have to contact Cruella myself, or plan B, I have to win contests to meet them. So basically plan A was that I had a follow from Cruella and Cruella Jahan at the time. I um, DM'd both accounts, but I got a response from Jahan. I was basically like, yo, like hit me up, like I want to meet you guys like so bad, here's what show I'm going to, blah blah blah. And she basically tells me to email their tour manager, David. So I email him, and no response. I didn't get any response, I waited for days, weeks, even, like nothing. So I was like, alright, whatever, it's okay. So, plan B was the only thing I had, that was the last resort. I had to win one of the contests. Basically, one of these contests or all of them I should say, were run by Cruella fans at the time and he was a very, very well-known Cruella fan page and um, his name was Johnny by the way. Johnny ran these contests that you would get to meet Cruella and basically how the contests work is that he will tweet out a hashtag 
one of the hashtags was I think watch legacy on vivo that was one of the hashtags that we used so basically with that hashtag we had to tweet as many times as we could on Twitter all of us the whole entire crew and the thing is to tweet as many times as you can there is a tweet limit yes there is a tweet limit you can only tweet a certain amount of times at a certain amount of times that made no sense you can only tweet a certain number of tweets within a certain time period. There we go, okay? Basically, everyone's tweet limit varied, which is kind of what determined if you would win or not. I would sit on my computer, type my little butt off, some random lyrics, some random quotes from Cruella. But basically, what happened with the contest with me is I would tweet as many times as I could, typing my little butt off on my computer. So after tweeting so many times, I would hit my tweet limit. And then I would wait for the winner to be announced, Guess what? The winner was never me. I was like, all right, whatever, chill, whatever. So I was just like, let me just like kind of investigate a little bit. I would count my tweets with a hashtag. Let's say I got 120, okay? Then I would go on the uh, winner's account. I would count up their tweets and they would tweet maybe like 110, something like that. I don't know. Either way, whatever the numbers would be, they would tweet less than me. So I'm just like, Okay, like something's wrong here. So I didn't really want to question anything because I didn't want to sound like a or anything. So I just ignored it. I was like, maybe the he's counting them wrong or whatever. So throughout the time period of the beginning of the Get Wet Tour, which was like September, up until my show date, which was November 1st, like I said, I entered all these contests. There were probably like about four or five contests happening and I just lost all of them. Basically, November 1st, two days beforehand, October 30th, was the final contest that I had a chance to meet Cruella. So I sat down that night and just waited for the contest to start. He tweeted out the hashtag and the hashtag was hashtag Cruella on GMA. Because the next day on Halloween, Cruella would be making an appearance on Good Morning America in New York and do like a live performance and stuff like that. See, I told him take a disco nap. It's they didn't still know last night to us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, thank to you us all too. for being here. Thank Thanks for having thank us. Thank you for having yes. us. It did determine whether or not I would meet Cruella. So, I sat there on my computer and I was wondering, how the hell am I gonna be able to win this contest for sure? So, I text Johnny, I'm like, yo, how do you count tweets? He's like, he uses this app on his computer that counts tweets with a certain like hashtag or like word tweeted in it. I was like, okay, I got this. I asked him, would it be okay if I were to tweet from two accounts and you could combine my tweets? So basically I would have my tweet limit doubled if that makes sense so he was like oh yeah that's fine oh my gosh that's a great idea whatever i made a separate account philly crew bu backup account okay i kid you not i remember the number of tweets i had from two accounts i tweeted 251 times okay and then i tweeted that the winner was announced the winner was not me oh wow what a surprise this has never happened before my dreams were crushed, basically. I was just like, great, didn't win, even though I had like this many tweets, okay? So, I go on the winner's Twitter account and I count up their tweets. The winner is tweeting less than me. Oh, thanks. Ah, uh, yeah, I totally deserve to lose. <laughs> so as I was going through her Twitter, I did notice that she was actually going to the same show that I would be attending. So I was like, great, I'm gonna be at the same venue as she's gonna be meeting Cruella and I'm gonna be in the back of the crowd crying. I'm just not gonna be Cruella, but seeing them will be fantastic. That's fine. So later that night, I was sitting on the ground making and painting the shirts that I was gonna give to them when I would meet them, but that wasn't gonna happen, was it? And then as I was painting, I got a random DM from somebody. I was like, who are you? It was a girl named Tiffany. I was like, okay, I've never talked to you my whole entire life. I don't even think I follow you, so I followed her just why not? So basically, this is how the conversation went, okay? Tiffany says, Oh, so, I see that you want to get a picture with Cruella because I tweeted this. Then Cruella replied saying this, and I'm just like, bruh, like, what? <laughs> so, I say, yeah, I want a picture with Cruella, I kind of want to meet them and everything, and like, whatever. Then, she's like, what if I told you I can make that happen? I was like, thinking this girl was like, playing tricks on me here, okay? So I was just like, wait. Are you, are you serious right now? She's like, totally, yeah. Um, I already talked about it with the Yasmin, it's totally fine. I was in disbelief, I did not believe her, okay? And then she says, yeah, if you want, you can call me and we could like talk this out and everything. And I'm just like, 
okay? So I dial her phone number, I talked to her on the phone, and I'm just like confirming this is happening. She's basically saying like, okay, so basically you're gonna um, go to the venue at this time, and you're going to meet me in front of the merch stand, and I'll come and get you, and then I'll bring you to the door, and David will come out and get you, and then he'll bring you backstage to meet Cruella, and I'm just like, what? Okay, so I was just dying. I was literally like, oh my god, this is not happening right now. Like, I was in literal shock, okay? Basically, I get off the phone with her and I'm saying like, yo, like, is this real? Like, are you sure? Are you positive that this is actually happening? So she basically sends me a picture or a screenshot, I mean, of the text message she had with Yasmin. And it said... Okay, telling the story honestly gets me so hyped, like I apologize, okay? <laughs> so after she sends me that screenshot, I basically thank her from the heavens, literally she's an angel sent from above. She was saying like how she wanted to do this and that she's just thank you for being a good fan and I was just like, <laughs> my heart right now, is this really what the crew is all about? And yes, this is what the crew is all about, okay? Like, shoot. Oh my god, I will never ever be able to thank her enough for making this happen. Tiffany, if you're ever gonna watch this, I love you so much. You're you're an amazing person. Like having such a big heart to do this for somebody, like especially someone that you've never even talked to or know, like thank you. Oh my god, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm gonna have to end it here because this video is gonna be really long if I continue. I'm going to post part two sometime soon. Um, basically this video was how I met Cruella, basically how it all went down, how I got the chance to meet them, not when I met Cruella, okay? So, Crew Life episode, when I met Cruella, will come soon. Keep an eye for that. Subscribe and click on that little bell to get a notification for me. If you want to see my videos once they're posted, just straight away. Thank you so much for watching, and if you're part of the crew, I love you. You must know that. And if you're not part of the crew, you're great too. I mean, I like you a lot. Thank you for watching. Anyway, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Yeah.